Hello, Mr. Bush. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fort Joan. Hello, Mr. Wiener. And Ashley Miller. Cartman's got diabetes. I'm not. I'm not really surprised. Have you seen him? Considering how much of a fat fuck he is. Hey, I'm not rather, you fat fucking Jew. Anyway. In the Ozempic special, apparently he loses weight. I don't yes. know if this is going to be canon now. Prob- probably lost. not. <laughs> I don't know if any of the, the specials have ever been canon, but that's how it be. But a lot of people have been really giving South Park props for their specials because their specials hit like really hard. Like even their COVID special <laughs> and post COVID special has been pretty damn good. Ooh, Konami Sports. Oh, well, we had trouble with Ken Griffey Jr.'s Slugger My Tugger Fuck Poopy Pants Baseball. Hopefully this one works a little better. Well, we've made it to the main menu. Wait a second. I hope it... Oh, no. Is this going to be one of those... um, They don't have the licenses, so it's going to be like the New York... Bankies against the Chicago. Oh, dude, it is. Uh, uh, I don't. You know what make this game uh, a little? Oh, you know what would make this game a little more enjoyable? Talent. Ah. Well then, um, but I was gonna say like since it's a Konami game, maybe have like some. Like hidden content, like play as a baseball team modeled after Metal Gear Solid characters, or play as a baseball team Um, modeled after Contra. Well, they got the players. Uh, okay, all right. (laughs) I mean, are they are they fake names? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Can you, can Roger, you Roger Clemens? All right, okay, maybe, maybe this they do have a license after all. Yeah, they they probably have the player's license, but not the not the team license. So the 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 the, the players' association license, possibly. The uh, American baseball team is going to be playing over in Japan, and while we have the license for their names, we do not have the license for their team names. So we're Here's... just going to call them. The Cincinnati versus the Toronto. Yeah, this is uh, the, these the are my Cincinnati versus the Toronto. Yep, these are my two teams facing off against each other. Yikes. Uh a, a scenario that would very rarely ever happen. Outside. Well, in Japan, uh, American baseball teams that may not face off against each other can face off against each other because yep. in Japan, anything is a possibility. But yeah, I don't believe that Toronto and Cincinnati Wait. can actually fa- actually have ever faced each other, except maybe in playoffs. Interleague play? Or interleague play? But yeah, it would have to be interleague play, because it doesn't really happen often. Because they're both... No. Well, because they're both in separate leagues. One's an AL team, one's an NL team. I believe the uh, the Reds are an NL team, and the Blue Jays are oh, an AL shit. team. That's correct. So, yeah. Unless, unless it's a, unless it's a World Series, they wouldn't be facing each other. I think back to Ashby's um, little comment there. Anything could happen in Japan. Anything is possible. That's true. So, so, what you're saying, so what you're saying is, one day in Tokyo, Godzilla could pop up and start vigorously masturbating, and out out pops a Chevrolet. Yeah, that could very well happen in Japan. Um. Okay. When when Dane when a Mitsubishi and a Chevrolet love each other very much, you get a Shitsubishi. (laughs) 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 Yeah. 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 We will go. We we will. Oh my God! That. Oh. Oh my God! That was such a foul ball. No, I'm not going ooh. I'm not going ooh because of that, jackass. I my uh, ankle just popped. Oh, that's wonderful. It didn't. It doesn't hurt. It was. It was a good pop. It was like 
Oh yeah, that felt good. Here's the pitch. That's. Oh, that felt good. Oh yeah, Daddy, do it again. Ashley is the only person I know that can make ankle popping sound uncomfortable and sexy. Well, you know how like when you stretch and you stretch and your shoulder might like pop, but it doesn't. You know how when you stretch and you stretch and suddenly you're the goatsy guy. <laughs> you know when you stretch and you stretch and you pop a boner and then your football coach is like, what the hell's the matter with you, son? <laughs> but he's Jerry Sandusky, so he handles it himself. Like, boy, what the hell? This is not Red Lobster. <laughs> now get over here so I can beat that off. <laughs> you know what? You've asked me this episode. <laughs> Oh, the st <laughs> oh! I see. I see. The Jerry Sandusky joke is where the line is drawn. All right, cool. Let me tell you something. I have Fuck that piece of shit. State. I don't I, care. Don't Fuck call him. Me a piece of shit. No, I'm calling you Sandusky a piece of shit. Fuck him. He deserves all the ridicule. Obviously, I have lines in the sand, and when they get crossed, I thought you said you had lice for a second. I was like, get a bottle of Nix. <laughs> you want me to get the New York Knicks? Yeah. Rub, like... rub the New York Knicks in your hair <laughs> oh. to get rid of the lice. Nice. Guys, I know you suck in the playoffs, but you're great at rubbing and <laughs> You're great at cleaning my hair. <laughs> Ooh. It looks like maybe you Barris Bueller, you're my hero. <laughs> Wait a second, this is a CD? Why does it look like a vinyl? Huh. Oh. Oh. What? Wait. No, this um, this is a, a statement not a... related to anything going on pr at present? Oh, huh. Look, I am on the Ebays and I saw in utero. Okay. See, that would have been useful to know before you started wondering if it was a CD out loud. <laughs> Because it you, looked like a you, you did it backwards. <laughs> I'm just all that I'm is, gonna say is that's where our confusion stems from. <laughs> she turned into um, what's her name? Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, this hey. looks like a CG girl. This oh. makes me want to fuck Dave Grohl. Uh, I would. <laughs> oh my god! I would fucking destroy his wiener. <laughs> With my hey, speaking, with my speaking of um, who we are seeing. Speaking of Dave Grohl, have any of you guys heard his cover of the Peaches song "Fuck the Pain Away"? I have not. Oh I didn't my even God, know he covered it. it. He, there, it was him and another guy. And I just Dave can't imagine Dave Grohl singing at the top of his lungs, sucking on my titties like you wanted me. But here's the thing. He's he's sitting in a drum kit, playing the drum kit while singing it, and there's another guy on like a keyboard doing the other stuff. <clears throat> that was a fucking quick it, inning. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell's going on around here? And it was done during the pandemic because eventually oh. the camera pans out to like Peaches watching the footage and she joins in. So it's like you see him, wow. you see him drumming and you see him singing and he's like Fucking all my kitties like you're wanting me caught. And I'm just like, oh my god, David, Hi. Dave. Hi. Hi, Ashley. This is Jennifer Coolidge. You're, you're making my vagina wet. I wish you Hi. were sucking Hi, on my titties. Like you want to. Hi, Jane. Me. This is Jennifer Coolidge as well. What the fuck are you doing? Trying to take my gig? I, I'm Jennifer Coolidge. I was the second hottest thing about eight simp or eight simple rules. No, two, 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 broke, two, girls two broke girls. <laughs> fucking <laughs> two broke girls. I'll be honest yeah. with you. I'll be honest with you. If she was on eight simple rules, she would also have been the second hottest thing about that show. Because <laughs> you know, John Ritter is just sexy as fuck. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh. Let's just say if I was on eight simple rules to. To do whatever. I would have scissored with Katie Seagal. 
would have been fighting for actually, actually that would be kind of a hot. I can't. I was gonna say I, that I fuck both of those women at the same time if I if I could, <laughs> if they would let uh, me. All your... <laughs> Hi, Katie Chappelle. I want to be married with your both, children. Both of those women aged like fine wine. Oh. Who watched? Except I'm not a I'm not a 33 year old board. board I mean, it must have inspired you? Kaylee Cuoco because she went on to try to be a sex symbol in Big Big Bang Theory. Didn't work out too well. Everybody wanted to fuck Bernadette instead. <laughs> <laughs> But I Kaylee mean, Cuoco Kaylee, well, is, hold on, is, hold on. Is, Kaylee Cuoco is a very attractive. She woman. is. She is. You're and not wrong. Funny. I'm just she's saying, funny. Melissa Roush. I, I would prefer that. And now she's saying. on this. And now she's on the sequel to Night Court. Mm. She plays she Harry's daughter. Harry's daughter, yes. And it's really hard for me to tell the difference between her oh, and Bernadette because Melissa, I'm like, Melissa, you know, your TV dad died. The, re oh. the only reason that that show had a chance is because John Larroquette was still on it. I would. Well, Ross, I would Ross was on John Larroquette's board. Role. Yeah, but John Larroquette is one of the best things about every show he's in. <laughs> true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. He's just a a great actor and a funny dude. I would have a, I would have a few with them. Absolutely. Here's the pitch. Abso fucking lootly, I would. Ooh. Like doing the opening narration for a Texas Chainsaw Massacre and being paid in pot. That. That's a dream that many that many aspire to. Here's the pitch. You know, I, I once again, I have to stress, this is not a joke. He. John Larroquette himself confirmed that this happened. Oh. I'm sure oh. there I, I mean I'm sure there are plenty of people who in lieu of money, if you compensated them with marijuana, they'd be just as fucking tickled. I feel like Jennifer Coolidge would be like, just get me some cabana boys. Pay me in penis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're we're willing to offer you money, Miss Coolidge. Oh no, Miss Coolidge, I will sleep with you if you do this. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Sweet. That was, didn't realize it was that simple. <laughs> no, no. Uh, do you want me to throw you around a little bit beforehand? No, no, no. You don't even have to do anything. I'll do all the work. Just lay there. Okay. Dead fish. Okay. <laughs> Uh, by the, remember, I was play with your boobies fun. a little bit. Yep, I play with your boobies a little bit. Yeah, uh -huh. go down, go downtown. Go, go put, down. You're gonna go to you're gonna go to the the upper west side. Put, put right? the nail. I'll put the nail in the coffin. What? what? We're 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 building stuff now. <laughs> I, no, no, I'm going, Miss Coolidge. I'm going to fuck you. I see. Why did you just say that? Okay, you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, well, hold on. You're talking about nails and coffins and going downtown like that. That's so weird. Like, why would you go downtown? <laughs> oh, <right> Jesus. <laughs> that looked like it hurt. What? <laughs> Tammy Jackson is getting a little desperate. He's hitting people with pitches. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, look at the score. It's one nothing. Toronto's. Nothing, yeah. Toronto's getting shut out. Oh. <laughs> Which this is what, 90, this came out in 99, so yeah, I believe it. 99 Blue Jays weren't shit. So I don't I don't remember. Remember. The Reds were pretty good in 99. Here's the pitch. Hmm. They weren't like the best team ever, but they were better than they are now. They hmm. were better than right now. Yeah, the Blue, uh, the Blue Jays' time was like late 80s, early 90s, I'll be honest. Well, that was around the time they won the World Series. Back to back, to back yeah. I think the only yeah. team to ever do that. Um, no. No, Yankees have done it, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. Sons of bastards. And I believe the Oakland A's did it back to back as well. Toronto might have been the first one, though. Uh, 
Um, no, 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 Mike. Stop living your pipe dream. The Yankees did it before. The Yankees do everything. The Yankees, the MLB is just the Yankees. No other team exists. The Yankees, just the Yankees. Uh, Yankees, right, Yankees, relax. Yankees, Yankees. Relax, buddy. Relax. Why don't, they just, why don't they just Yankees on my nuts? Hold on a second. Hold on. It wasn't the Yankees at all, actually. It was the Philadelphia Athletics, and they won the World Series back to back. In 1910 and 1911. So. so a team that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> they, 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 they moved to Oakland. They they actually moved to Kansas City. God, why? That's If you're in Philadelphia and you see, hey, let's move to Kansas City, I'm like, no, fuck you. Philadelphia is where everything is. Piss off. <laughs> There's nothing in Kansas City. You know, now that I... People from I'm Kansas actually, don't even yeah. want to be in Kansas City. That's why it's in fucking Missouri. <laughs> you know, now that I'm actually looking at... The Yankees, are, the Yankees were not the were not even in, like, the top three of teams to... Uh, because it was the Philadelphia Cause Athletics. Because they're, they're then, fucking overrated. <laughs> it, well, okay. All right. Well, they are. I'm just saying. Get your hate boner down to a short nub. I need it to fuck Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> oh. God, then you want it to be hard, it. don't you? <laughs> Michael, Michael, have some decorum. I know I'm a whore, are, but have listen, some decorum. Jennifer Coolidge would be the last fucking person to even know what the word decorum means, much less ask for it. <laughs> okay, listen here, fuck nugget. <laughs> I may sound like a dumb slut, but I assure you, I'm just the slut. I know how to read. Why do you think I'm in movies? Is is decorum some kind of a trink? <laughs> oh, that took you a second to get, yeah. So anyway. Is decorum in the Karma Sutra? I think that's in chapter seven. I think that's right next to the Hound's Way in the Union of the Bitch. I think that's after the Flying Buttress of Dawson. What? I hear, I hear Union of the Bitch, and then I hear the Flying Buttress of Dunkle Tunt. That's that's not what I said. I, said I, I heard, distinctly heard Flying Buttress. I, I know yes, you said that, that part. part. That part is correct. But I said donkey punch afterwards. Oh. That's very close to Dunkle Tunt. <laughs> oh, well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go fuck one of Stifler's friends. I'm probably going to fuck the little nerdy looking twink. He seems kind of hot. <laughs> Where's Ryan Reynolds? I want to be his, his cow. <laughs> Pay child support to an old guy who looks really young. Okay, Jennifer, it's time for you to go to bed. No, no, where's it's Paul, where's it's Paul Rudd? Paul Rudd, I want to fuck a vampire. As much as I don't want to put it into the Jennifer Coolidge, uh, we have to talk about the game. Thoughts on bottom of the ninth, Dane? Um, I was unimpressed. This would seem very clunky, kind of boring. And normally I'm not that much of a hater of baseball games, but this one was just, eh, I'm not too, uh, wasn't too impressed. Ashley. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's a baseball game. There are better ones. It's, all, it's nothing special. Scores out of 10, Dane. Two. Ashley. Mm, mm, two. Yeah, I'll give it a two as well. Oh, speaking of two, who wants to take a jump? 
Uh, no. Why did the stream end? What happened? Because my controller disconnected. I'm just oh. getting in front of it. Uh, oh, in any event, uh, spin it. <laughs> Hopefully it's something not a fucking... Oh, there's an extra veto. Nice. All right. Extra that veto. puts us at six, and that's the cap. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, so we have we are at the cap for uh So that other extra veto just becomes a, a free spin. Mm. There's an there's another one on the wheel. I'm gonna take care of that real quick. Oh god. All right. Jennifer, spin Jennifer Coolidge. Jennifer Coolidge and David Chris. Kittner. Yeah, you talked. You were yeah. the one that you were the one that informed us of this. <laughs> yeah, and I was the one that made the joke of like, "Okay, Corky, I'm gonna sit on your face." Yeah. I I forgot for or a no, brief moment. Oh, was it? Like, oh or was God, it? Did, didn't you? Or wasn't it? Oh no, I said, "Okay, make me come, Mister Peepers." Something like that. It's because Mister Peepers always did a hoo hoo. <laughs> He always did a hoo hoo. He always did a hoo hoo. He did a hoo hoo. But he always grabbed like a fucking apple and just fucking. Okay then. Super bowling. Super bowling. UFO interactive. Super bowling. Super bowling. Uh. Uh, and just seeing this game just makes me want to actually go bowling. It's like, come the fuck on, my guy. It's like, nothing beats the real thing. Golf? Ooh. That, uh, you're gonna break the golf club doing that. <laughs> Can't hit a bowling ball with a golf club. What the fuck is wrong with you? I just think if it's above 90 degrees, I shouldn't be responsible for my electric bill. Like, talk to the sun about that. Can I... Just know, I'll let the entire power grid go down and ruin all of our lives before my thermostat is set to 78. I'm gonna say it's good. <laughs> fucking, fucking sweet, dude. Uh, well... Hero or Alpha, I think I'll take Hero, and you can be Alpha, and you can be also Hero, and you can be also Alpha. So there, it's a, it's a mirror match. Here goes my hero. Watch him, as, watch him as he has sex with Jennifer Coolidge. Well, then. That would really make him my hero, honestly. Does that mean Chris Kattan is my hero? Oh, man. I guess. That was so shitty. Watch it as it gutters. Gutter live. Oh no. As in, as opposed to gutter pre taped. Son of a bitch. Mulligan. There goes my wiener. I was married to Lorena. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, boom. Ha. Have fun picking that up. Okie dokie. Thank you. <laughs> Remember, chefs are hard-working, talented artists, and we all turn their best efforts into crap. Until we meet again. <clears throat> Remember, nothing ends with the word, with the letter G. Until we meet again.
you get it? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you got it. Hooray! Uh, oh, wow, that was a shitty shot. Oh, well. Even I don't normally leave that many pins. And I'm terrible! I'm alright at bowling. I'm alright. I'm alright. Nobody to worry about me. <laughs> Oh shit. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Uh, here, I'm not paying attention, I guess. Steve uh, Boyle. Beefcake pantyhose! Oh, excuse me. You're excused. Ah, damn it. Huh. I'm missing the, the, the little thing in there where I have to hit in order for it not to be a gutter. You got friend in me. Your friend is inside me. Get, we'll get him out of here. Get my there friend we go. out of Get my friend out Get my out friend out of me. Ouch. Cause you hurt me now. Oh, that was my second shot. Or else that would have been a hell of a spare. Please, Jennifer Coolidge, please stop fucking my friends. Please stop fucking my friends. Mm. What the hell to do with anything? <clears throat> you big stupid <clears throat> pee. Just, I wonder what it'd be like to have Randy Newman at a crab boil. It's like, put down the orange juice. <clears throat> Put down the orange juice. Grab some citrus, like orange and limes, and throw them in with garlic cloves all the time. And put some other seasoning in, because crab boil is it. <laughs> Son of wow. a bitch. Wow, what a great joke. That was the funniest joke I've ever heard. You put your friend in me. Dun, 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 dun. You put your friend in me. Stop putting your friend in me. That hurts. Ow. Get him out of me. I don't think he can sense to this. Stop fucking me with my friend. <laughs> Consent is king, but you're really not. And you're using him as a dildo and you're being a twat. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop because doing the Randy Newman voice is actually fucking. You should, <laughs> fucking you should stop that. because you sound like a Duncan's heart. Oh, that was such a good throw Look, that time. Look, we are trying to have fun, my guy, and yeah. We try to do have fun, <laughs> and I'm not the only one. Everybody I'm eats. A bucket of cheese, and then they shit the brains out. Well, everybody poops, Mr. Newman. Yes. Yeah, they do. Short In fact, people. I about it. I want to murder a midget. That's what? Basically, the point because of that song. Good. <laughs> Are you talking about short people? Yes. He didn't like them. I don't well, like. Say they have no to live. I don't like little exactly. people. Exactly. You wanted to murder them. I'm not a prejudice. I just don't like short people. At least I didn't call him a midget. Pretty sure he did at some point. <laughs> Look at these fucking short people. They're ruining my life. They fucking cunts. Just rest your nuts on their head. It's that's all right, Randy. It's not that. Uh, it's just, it's not that critical. People took, the goddamn people took my job. No, they the didn't. The goddamn short people they took my no, job. No, they didn't, Randy. That you are a you are a multi Grammy winning artist who has written 
some of the greatest songs in, in, in movie history. You won two Oscars. You won two Oscars. Nobody took your fucking job. You goddamn I won. moron. <laughs> But I wanted to be Willow. I wanted to be Willow and work with Val Kilmer. Goddamn Warwick. Um. <laughs> but. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. You. Ooh, that was a bad throw. You put your wiener in Jennifer Coolidge. I can't believe we're still on that. <laughs> I mean, well, well, if you don't, I know, I know, I'm the Jennifer only one keeping it alive. But still, why don't you get off of Jennifer Coolidge? No, what I was gonna say was, you got Ashley rambling about. If she let me get on her, I would never get off of her. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You would be stuck to her like a fanny pack. Mike is Jennifer Coolidge's fanny pack. He's stuck on I her mean, front. My face would be her fanny pack for sure. <laughs> but then you just make it look like she's got an elongated cunt. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Don't be an elongated cunt. How dare you, Sully? The good vagina of care for Coolidge. <laughs> you leave her. You leave her vagina alone. Are you proud of yourself? It's not what I said that broke me. It's your sincere response. I'll be right back. Please yes, take, Mom? Please take your time. <laughs> Take In fact, your time. Hurry up. No, don't hurry up. Choice is yours. Don't be don't late. Be as a trend. As a, as a friend. As a butthole. As a butt. Huh? Oh. Huh? What? Who said that? I'm getting The timing of this is very tricky. Whoa, not that much fuck. Alright. There we go. That might accomplish something. Yeah! I picked up the spare. Nice. I'm starting to get a hang of it. Now that we're well, four good. frames in. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this just makes me wish I was really bowling. In fact, let's let's end this video and go bowling. What do you say? That would be nice. Let's go. <laughs> it's just Whing. static. It's snow and white white noise. <laughs> Is it caption? He really went bowling. Who did yeah, they, they, go? They, they really went bowling. We returned two days later to finish the record. <laughs> oh, that split! Wow, we oh, did everything in the world today. That's awful. Yeah, we did all the things. <laughs> we it barred. was and pooted and shitted <laughs> and pooted and and that's shitted. everything. I mean, there's nothing else. It's true. Change is gonna do you good. Living on the earth. <laughs> Living in the fridge. You can't Damn. stop this rain from falling. Wait. Living in the fridge? Like a combined, okay. Like a combined two songs there. I think you okay. did. I think you did. I had to get some. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. God damn it. No. I'm really <laughs> bad at this living in the I had to, uh, 
I had to get some must melon and also I had it. to uh, eat some attack question. I'm I'm way better at fucking real bowling and real life than this. This, this it's kind of difficult. And it's on easy, Mike's so. Date. I can attest to Mike's uh, bowling statement because a few times when we did date, we played bowling. Like, we would go to the bowling alley and bowl, and he beat the fucking pants off of me at bowling. He's that good. Oh, my. He beat the piss out of me at bowling. I said he beat the pants off me. Mike didn't put hands on me. It's just he's really good at fucking bowling. Oh, my God. Ashley, I was making a joke. Calm your fucking... Resin-filled, buttery-nippled ass down. You used to have a weird fascination with my tits being filled with dairy products. Is there something you want to tell the class? Um, I am leaving. Goodbye. Well, if the door hits your ass on the way out, make sure to wipe it down first. There you hope. mother, you fucking, you hobo licking, curb biting, carpet munching, <laughs> ass face. We're playing Super Bowl. You're making. <laughs> I love the fucking space there between those statements. You ass face. We're playing Super Bowl. <laughs> this should be a happy time. It would be a happier yeah. time if I could fucking hit the the area and the the gauge I'm supposed to be hitting. If you, you can hit my area. If you hit my useless area. Just right in what the gooch, should be, please. What should be a gooch tastic time <laughs> is being <laughs> stullied. By Ashley being a fart basket. Yeah. That's a, that was an awful looking... That's an awful looking pickup. That's a funny looking strike. Never seen anything like that before. That's actually pretty... That was impressive. Spare! Oh, let me get <sighs> Miss! Oh, I missed! Da 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 it's not pride anymore. It's I mean, not pride anymore. It is when we're recording this, yes, but not when this actually. Not, yeah, this this is gonna air in mid July, so. <laughs> actually, almost near the end of July, I think. Almost near the end of July. Almost near the end of July. By the way, how was fireworks, everybody out there who's who's already experienced them? We don't know because it hasn't happened for us yet. <laughs> I probably had to comfort my mom's dog God because my mom's dog hates fireworks. Hitting that, hitting the sweet spot on that gauge is kind of difficult. I know I've been saying it a lot, but still. Come on. That was a good throw. Yes. Nice. Oh, that was almost a terrible spare. Or a uh, uh, split. The worst one. Very, very lucky. Super, super lucky. 
Put it in the fridge. Or not. <laughs> yeah, no. Whatever. Yeah, I'm just. Guess you don't have to live in the fridge if you don't want. It's okay. It's cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's whatever. You GI ho. Yeah, you know, no, just no, nobody say anything. Just watch Super Bowl dude, inside. I, dude, I had to fart, okay? Give me a break. You have to be silent to fart? Yes. <laughs> Mike, have you ever heard of such ridiculousness? Uh, I, I, it's, I, a, it's a show that airs for six straight years on MTV, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Eight million episodes. Yeah. And now a 30-day marathon. <laughs> oh, God. Just ridiculousness. And you think I'm bullshitting, but honestly. They, they would have enough to uh, to do that. Uh, let's see here. And no. This game is not very intuitive with its controls. Oh, that was actually like the best throw. Oh, I didn't realize I'd had a 7 10 split. Shit. That's all right. Too, I was going to say, too bad you only hit one of the two pins. You can help yourself from far away. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Mmm. Man, this must melon's fucking good. I wish I could share it with you guys. So did you guys know that in one of my latest videos, my mama played a small voiceover role? Oh. Yeah. She walks in the room to ask Dane if people are really shitting on his stream. No. No. <laughs> no. Is that, that somebody, is somebody actually pooping? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, mother. No. It's like I don't I don't know what's funnier. Dane's mom walking in and questioning if people are actually dumping or Dane's dad just kind of like catching a tail end of something and just staying just to be like, I wanna see where this goes. You guys are being mean. No, it's endearing. It's endearing no, no, because it's I was, hilarious. I was trying I was I was I was trying to Build up my mom's voiceover debut, and and you just, you 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 killed you killed it. You you. What did your mom out. do outside no, of no, no, no. doing voiceover? I don't want to talk about it. No, you, hey, you don't be don't be like that. No, you, you're I, happy I'll for be, your mom. I'll be whatever you're I happy. want to be. I'll fucking kill you. I wish a bitch would. You would fuck a beat fall? Yeah, yeah, you would do that. Well, no. I said I uh, wish you, a bitch would. You seem like you were thinking about that for a second. Like, well, the beach ball was born. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. So. Your mom did a voiceover for you. That's cool. Congratulations. Thank okay, you. Yeah. Will we be hearing more from Mama Forgion? I mean, it, I don't know. I don't know either. Thoughts on Super Bowling? Dane. Well, I've never heard of Super Bowling, but Super Bowling. Very, very boring. 
I would I would much rather play bowling in real life than watch it on video games. To be quite honest. Uh, Ashley. <sighs> it just makes me want to actually play bowling, like actually go to a bowling alley and play. And I long for those days. Yeah, I just it just makes me wish I was playing bowling as well. Well, there you go. Uh, scores out of ten, Dane. One. Ashley. Zero. Uh, one. <laughs> Zero. Okay, last game of the thing. I swear, if this last game is a total shitter, we need to use a diarrhea fart. Uh, well, let's hope. <laughs> Are we actually hoping for a, a shitty game? <laughs> because because we have so many diarrhea, diarrhea cards. <laughs> We're stacking them up like cheaps. I mean, we can't get any more. We have six. If we don't use any. We're still going to have six on the next one. Yeah, that's oh, true. Even if we use one, we're still going to have six on the next one. <laughs> Is there still an option that says Dane's choice to my choice or your there, choice? Yeah, there are. There's a Dane's choice, a, an Ashley's choice, and a Michael's choice. Well, if it lands on my choice, we choose Mario Golf. Oh, didn't. So I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, another baseball game. Yeah, yeah. Diarrhea card. Yep, diarrhea card has been initiated, Ashley. Diarrhea card, dump it. All right, we're dumping it. We're down to five. That's right. That's right. Do we have well, to play actually, the next one? Nice to actually get one. And that means... uh. No, okay, we can we can diarrhea card as many as we need to. You got five more. Um, so that free spin that's on the wheel becomes an extra veto again because or an extra dump card again. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write extra uh, card extra card instead <clears throat> of extra veto since that's what it is. So now that now that we now that we have a spot open for one again. Well, I, I, Ashley, I don't think you have to worry about uh, it being a National's Choice space. Because it's Mario Golf. Because we literally just landed on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only golfing game I will pay attention to. Same. That's. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, Dane would have said the same thing. <laughs> Plum! Was she a character made exclusively for this game? Because all uh, I yes. remember is Princess. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, I remember... Plum, and there's another one that uh, was made for this game that is you're starting, and everybody else is an unlockable, I believe. Including even um, Mario. I, I know there's like Princess Peach and Princess Daisy, <laughs> and now Princess Luna. Or what? What was her name? Princess. I can't you remember. mean Rosalina? Yeah, Rosalina, which I guess is confirmed to be uh, Luigi and uh, Princess Peach's baby from the future. What? Uh, what? You mean Daisy? Because Daisy, Daisy's Luigi's girl. No, no, no. Luigi, did you? No. Did you fuck up my girl? No. Um. Rosalina is considered, or there's a theory considering her to be the biological daughter of Luigi and Princess Peach. Because oh. both are insanely tall, and I think uh, either Luigi or Peach has uh, um, attached earlobes, which are prominent features that she has. I mean, clearly, it's Princess Peach's daughter. We just don't know who... Who did the pump and dump? Oh no! Okay, so Peach and Baby Mario are also uh, 
unlocked Fuck already. Him. But you got Plum and Charlie. I'm gonna pick Charlie. Peach. Play another character. If you win, you can sure. use this character. Here we go. Let's let's try to get Luigi. Uh, uh, Super Bowling went, went a little long, so I'm gonna try to do this quickly. Whack! Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I've always been a, I've always been a fan of Mario Golf. I love me some Mario Golf. It's so easy to pick up and play. It's far easier to pick up and play than most other golf games. I mean, like, it seems like when Nintendo runs out of ideas, they're always like, you know, where is the fat Italian? We we can milk that cow just a wee bit longer. I mean, you. Jo I mean, I mean, you Italian. joke, but it works out for them. Some of their most of their best games are Mario games, Mario or Zelda. Dude, by the way, I. Am fucking stoked about the new Zelda game, uh, the one that looks like Link's Awakening uh, on Switch. The new one where you get to play as Zelda. That looks like it's going to be fun, and I actually can't wait to play that one. If it plays like Link's Awakening did, what's its name? I forget the name of it off the top of my head. I have yet to get a Switch, and I want to get a Switch. Like I literally want to. Fucking like sink to win. Play. All right. Uh, yeah, birdie yes. baby. Yahoo. It's just, a, a Switch has been, like, so low priority because I want to play the, the the most recent Smash game, and I want to play the, the new Legend of Zelda games that came out, the ones that, like, you know, you get have to make food and have to make your own weapons and all that. And I want to play the Mario Odyssey. I don't want to play Mortal Kombat. Like, essentially, all of the new Mortal Kombat games that are on the Nintendo Switch look like shit. <laughs> like, have you seen the side-by-side -side comparison to, like, Mortal Kombat 11? Or even the new Mortal Kombat 1 game? For, like, PlayStation 5? Xbox Series X, PC, and then the Switch. PC, pooping PC, oop de doop, beep boop, bleep boop. Uh, like I don't know PC if that was quiet boop. enough. Uh, nope, not quite. Mm. Very close, though. I was trying to get it on the green in one. It didn't really work out. I don't know what the fuck Luigi's doing. He's like... I'm trying to concentrate. I guess I guess it worked out for him. He does have yeah. if you saw on, if you saw on the menu he has his he's got a fade to the left a little bit so I guess that I get that. Fade to the left. Fade to the right. Stop. Think about it. Stop. Think about it. Stop. Think about it. Everybody shake that ass. I am on the green. Come on. That is all that I care about. I can putt it from there. As long as I make it to the green, a putt is not that hard. Especially not in this game. They make it really easy in this game. Putt, 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 put a putter. Like, if you're a golf person, if you, like, are into, into golf, like, this is probably, like, golf for babies for you. But, like, quite <laughs> honestly, that's kind of part of this game. I mean, this guy, it's kind of part of this game's appeal. It's supposed to be easy for everybody to play. That's why it's a Mario game. Oh, I missed the fucking like, hole. Just like I'm proud. It's like if it's it's okay <laughs> if you're not into golf. Like it's perfectly fine that you're not into golf. But Correct. Oops. How can you not? So like... I underdid it there. <laughs> uh oh. You're gonna. Boat. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna win this this hole. <laughs> 
Well, at least you got eight more eh, holes to choose. God damn it! Eat my ass! Eat my ass! Eat my ass! Come on, Luigi, fuck up. Ha! Bitch! Plus three. He'll still win. <laughs> Is he is he peeing? I think. <laughs> There's no place to pee around here. I'm sorry. I have to, I have, I have to squat like a bitch in order for me to pee. Wow. <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, I like mini golf. All mini golf, like. I think there was a couple of times when Mike and I did go mini golfing, like in Richmond, when their putt putt was yeah. still active. Yeah. Then I, in I, Fort Wayne. I enjoy mini golfing. I liked mini golfing with you. It was fun. We should do that again like, sometime. I would love that. I mean, I don't know if the putt putt in Richmond is still is still. It, it in isn't. Business. It isn't. We'd have to find somewhere else. <sighs> But, I mean, I know it got a little competitive, but, I mean, I had fun with you. I had fun playing mini golf with you. <laughs> That's great. I mean, you could come and play mini golf with us, too, Dane. Sure, you'd have to fly out or drive out. I'd probably prefer you fly out, but, um, yeah. What, I get stuck out of an airplane door? No thanks. Just just fly Air Japan or whatever. Well, then I don't have to go to Japan to do that, would Well, you take a connecting flight, and it's like, you can come and greet us, and, you know, just be like, hey, guys, guess what? My connecting flight was all the way to Okinawa. Guess what? I walked off of the airplane and waited in the airport. I didn't see any subtitles. No weave in sight. It was weird. Mm. That I'm was kidding. the most that was the most ridiculous thing you've ever said. And you said some pretty ridiculous things. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, of course. You're only saying you're kidding because you know it's super dookie. -do. Well, listen. Uh, hey, listen. But... Okay now, Abby, what, what's up? There's there's gonna come a time. When we're all going to be in the Shit. same area. I mean the sea. You, you, you may have to put the a little bit more oomph into it. And plus you're playing against the wind. <laughs> I I am not playing Bob Seger songs. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I mean like there's a 20 mile wind Lastly, speed blowing against I, I you're playing, the You are playing shake there. Shake down, take down, everybody walks into the crowd and die. Shake down, take down, you must stay. Let down, young God, honey. Like, eventually we're all going to be in the same place. Like, we're all going to be in the same area. Are we, it's though? Just... Are we? I think Let over time... I think over time we'll end up reuniting. Like it's not gonna be like an improv thing. Reunited with and it feels so good. But imagine if like once every few years we took a vacation <laughs> and met up <laughs> and just stuck <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Why yeah. not? That's why uh, I say once every few years and not every year because I know sometimes trips. You know, the price. we should we we, um, we should do like an improv show, <laughs> right? Yeah. Why didn't we think of doing yeah, that like, before? No, <laughs> yeah. that's great. I mean, yeah. if we do another improv show, it's gonna have to be severe. What do you mean another? Oh, yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> what the what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Look, it's not to say I didn't like the last one, but there were too goddamn many of us on stage. Yeah. 
That's true. There were some people who didn't need to be up there, and I don't want to be mean about it. It's just... Um, I'll be mean. Uh, Christine Conway. Fuck her. Um, Amanda Lala. Fuck her. Oh, yeah, from what I've heard, definitely, definitely fuck her. I, I mean, I wouldn't fuck her. I wouldn't fuck her with... I wouldn't fuck her with Flossman's dick. Um, Tom Wanaka. Nice guy, but definitely was a... A, uh... Extra load. Chelsea's douchebag ex-boyfriend. Fuck him. Oh yeah, fuck yep. him indeed. Yeah, to yep. yep. hell yep. with him. He hurt Chelsea, and I do not appreciate that. Chelsea was my friend. I, we haven't. Uh, Chelsea I, and I haven't talked lately, but uh, I would like to think that we're still on friendly terms. Probably not. Yeah. I don't know. So you guys are afraid to name names. I'm not. Fuck those people. I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't fuck any of them. I don't know what you're talking about. My standards Christine are a little Conway. bit higher than that. Christine Conway was a troublemaking little hobbit. And uh, I don't give a shit if she hears this. Because I would say it to her face. Anyway, thoughts on Mario Golf, Dane? <laughs> it was spectacular. It's the only golf game that I approve. Uh, Ashley. It saved the episode, and it's a piece of my childhood, so clearly it's one that I'm not afraid to pick up. It's, I mean, it. I don't think it aged well looks-wise, but oh. it's all about nostalgia. Oh, that was almost a slam dunk from Luigi. <laughs> like, yeah, at this, this is point, Luigi. it's nostalgia. Yeah, this is actually like one of the more fun golf games you could ever play. Uh, it's just easy to pick up and play. Uh, it's fun to do. It's fun to control. It's it's just a really really good game all around. Scores out of ten, Dane. Dang. Ashley. Ten. Yeah, ten. On this edition of the show, we played. Bottom of the night, Super Bowling and Mario Golf. Best game of the episode, Dane? Mario Golf. Ashley? Uh, Mario Golf. Yeah, I agree. Mario Golf is the winner. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane, for Joan, and Ashley Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Goodbye, everybody.